So we're pulling up to the 7-Eleven in New York. I don't know what's inside. I haven't been to a 7-Eleven in America in years. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what they have and what it's like and how it's different from the Japanese one. Here it is, an American 7-Eleven. I feel like a lot of people don't know this, but 7-Eleven is actually an American company. It's not a Japanese company. I mean, unless you're American. If you're American, you probably know it's an American company. Anyway. I'm gonna go inside now and see what vegan snacks I can get at the American 7-Eleven. Let's go, let's go check it out. So right when I walked in, I was hit with a wall of chocolate. They had Kit Kats, but only one flavor. These used to be my favorite actually when I was a kid. Next to the chocolate was all of the very nostalgic candy. Personally, I used to be a fan of the pink Starburst. And something about New York, this is not true for all 50 states. It is legal to sell alcohol at convenience stores. So just like Japan, you can buy that here. And what better snack to go with alcohol than chips? I have to say our chip flavors are lacking compared to the Japan ones. Personally, I just, I just like the plain though. <laughs> Grabbing pistachios because my mom likes these. And the next section are the sandwiches. I have to say our sandwich selection is also lacking compared to the Japanese one. But one thing we do have better is our nut selection. Look at all of these flavors. That one was smoky almond, so I decided to grab that one. And something that really surprised me was this wasabi soy peanut. This is something that you would find in the Japanese 7-Eleven. Next up was the drink section. I don't know if our drinks are less interesting or if it's just I'm used to our drink section, so I don't find them interesting and the Japanese ones are all new and exciting flavors but anyway i did find something that seemed healthy or at least was marketed as healthy the brand was called remedy and it was a vegan chai flavored drink that had a bunch of health type ingredients listed on the front even more exciting was you could buy full containers of oat milk at american 7-elevens more nostalgic snacks chips dips and another win for the american 7-eleven is the granola bar section here you can get cases of alcohol gloves scarves construction worker attire and yeah we'll go to the ice section later some packaged baked goods and the coffee i think our coffee is a win there's so many more flavors and we also have fresh baked goods so that's pretty cool too i also found this brand of popcorn that's known for having clean ingredients so i grabbed that the American 7-Eleven had several different types of hot dogs, as well as pizza and the infamous fried chicken. No idea if it's good or not, but I'm sure Chris Broad will tell us if he ever visits America. So this is something that's definitely unique to the American 7-Eleven. You can play the lottery here. This 7-Eleven also had a toy selection featuring the Gen Z famed Squishmallows. And though of course not as good as the selection at the Japanese 7-Eleven, something that I was surprised to find here was a vast selection of instant noodles including yakisoba. And something else that I think is definitely points for the American 7-Eleven are the Slurpee machines, but we'll get back to that later. Pumpkin spice lattes are of course another plus for America. And there's a classic ATM and just household goods that aren't food. Unsurprisingly, the selection of soda at the American 7-Eleven is better than the Japanese one. I'm actually not sure if we even have fountain sodas at the Japanese one. Let me know in the comments if you do know. More instant noodles and the Slurpee machines. We got wild cherry, we got Fanta, we got vitamin water, Coca-Cola, blue raspberry. Oh my god. On to the frozen foods, I think the Japanese 7-Eleven has a way better selection of frozen meals than the 7-Eleven in America. And lastly, the ice cream. I think the Japanese one has different types of ice cream, but there's more flavors in the American one. Here I was looking for the vegan Ben & Jerry's, I did not find it. And that was it for the American 7-Eleven. I got my 7-Eleven America haul. How cute is this bag? We don't have cute bags like this in the Japanese one. Um, so yeah, I got my vegan snacks. I got some sweet and salt popcorn. I got pistachios. My mom likes these. I got whole almond smoked. Just interesting healthy snack. I got this one I'm excited about. Super chai fuel. So this is almond milk, hemp seeds, maca, cardamom, prebiotics. 100% plant-based and last but not least I got wasabi peanuts I've never seen anything like that before wasabi soy so yeah this is something I, I feel like I would see in Japan not in the American 7-eleven so it should be interesting to try let's try this drink it's called remedy organics the brand
Oh, it's really good. It's really sweet. I wonder what they used to sweeten it. Oh, it looks like there's organic coconut sugar in here, which we all know is just the same as regular sugar, just fancy. But um, I'm gonna drink this. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, so we're gonna try the wasabi peanuts. My mom likes peanuts and she likes wasabi, so I feel like she's gonna like these. I'll let you know. Yeah. Okay, my camera died mid trying the peanuts. But mom, what do you think? I'm more. I thought they were delicious. Right? They were really spicy. I didn't very expect spicy, them to be that very spicy. Good. Love it. I'm <laughs> also gonna open the popcorn now just because I'm hungry. I feel like I might have had this brand before. Probably a sugar on it. But real simple ingredients, nothing fake. No high fructose corn syrup, love that. Yeah, just regular clean sugar. At least they're not trying to be healthy by cutting coconut sugar. Delicious. Lastly, we have the smoked almonds. I feel like these are gonna be good too. I actually don't really like smoky things that much, but let's see. Here we go. Oh yeah, I've never had beef jerky, but if I can imagine what beef jerky tastes like, it's this. Probably good if you like smoky stuff though. Don't like these ones that much, but um, everything else was delicious. And that's my uh, American 7-Eleven vegan food haul. Um, let's see what the Japanese one is like. I'm going back to Japan on Monday, so, so yeah. We'll do a 7 in there. Hello from somewhere random in Kyoto. So I recently got back from America and while I was there, I went into an American 7-Eleven and I wanted to compare that to the Japanese 7-Eleven. I think many of you who are here are probably American and already know the American 7-Eleven. But, but yeah, today we are going to check out a Japanese 7-Eleven and see what vegan food we can find there. So yeah, let's go. So if you've ever even heard of anime, you probably know about onigiri or Japanese rice balls. I personally like the umeboshi one. Next to the onigiri are the sandwiches. They have a vast selection of sandwiches as well as these pre-made meals, way more than the American 7-Eleven. They even had these dessert parfait cake cups. The drink section in Japan is something to be rivaled with. They have way more selection of drinks and not just soda like the American 7-Eleven. All the types of green tea that you could ever want and they don't even have sugar. Unless you want sugar, then they, they do have ones with sugar. Can't forget the beer and alcohol. And here are some of the frozen meal options that are available at the Japanese 7-Eleven, way more than the ones at the American 7-Eleven. And if you love cup noodles, you will die and go to cup noodle heaven when you enter a convenience store in Japan. They also have other soups like miso soup and various other flavors as well. On to the snacks. Here are some sweet and crunchy sweet potatoes, which I really love and are usually vegan. The granola section in the Japan 7-Eleven is mostly just calorie weight bars. I did find something new and interesting here. They had dried fruit, so obviously I had to get the mango one. Next up was the packaged baked goods section, which included a sandwich full of noodles. Not sure if this was good or not. Please comment down below if you have tried it and let us know. On to the snacks. I really like these fried bean things. They're kind of oily, so I don't get them all the time, but they're really delicious. There are quite a few flavors of chips in the Japan 7-Eleven. Whatever you like, they will have them. Their nut selection, on the other hand, is lacking. I just got plain nuts to take to school with me for a snack. They do have wine, which I didn't see at the American 7-Eleven, and a lot of it. They even had some American brands like Yellowtail down at the bottom. The toiletry section was about the same as the one in America, but they did have bath salts, so that's something I couldn't find in the other one. They also have a much better stationary section here. By the counter, you can find the hot foods. They have buns instead of hot dogs, which personally I think are a lot better. And of course, the fried chicken, chicken rings, and all of this good stuff. And lastly is the coffee machine where you can make your own fresh hot or iced coffee. So I just got back from 7-Eleven and I'm very hungry, conveniently. And I'm going to try all of the snacks that I just got. I think I'm going to start with the onigiri because I'm really hungry and this is kind of like a mini meal. Um, I already opened it wrong. Basically you pull it from here, like that. And then I fucked it up. Basically, yeah, pull this out here. Okay, I did okay. It worked out in the end. Takimasu. This is my go-to when I'm hungry. I need to eat something quickly. It's vegan, it's just rice and ume. 
and seaweed. Um, yeah, pretty good. I guess I should show you what I got. Um, so you know I got the onigiri. Also got these mixed nuts. These bean things, soybean things. And this mango. I was so excited to see this mango. I've never seen this before. Um, they had a few other dried fruits. I just read the ingredients and it does seem it has sugar and preservatives, but still better than some of the other options at the convenience store. Again, sorry for being a health otaku. I know it's really not cool, but I am what I am. It's a nice snack to have, a little treat. <laughs> That's very sweet. It has a weird perfumey aftertaste. Next. So these are the, it says soda mame, and they're shio salt flavored. And yeah, this is what they look like. <laughs> you can even see how oily they are on camera. They're very, very good. I actually love these. Are they soybeans? Soda mame. Soda mame. That might be another bean. Yeah, wait. This is not soybeans. This isn't edamame. This is some other bean. Sorry for lying to you. Soda mame. I don't know what that is in English. I'm gonna go stuff my face with these. And before I do, I'm not gonna eat the mixed nuts on camera. I'm just gonna bring this to school with me as a snack. Yeah, that's the healthiest food that I could find. They also have frozen fruit, which I used to buy sometimes to make smoothies at home or in the summer. I even just like buy the frozen fruit and eat it with a fork. So yeah, as for the 7-Elevens, the 7-Eleven in America, unsurprisingly, just had way more healthy options than the one in Japan. But the one in Japan has like a lot of fun, cool, interesting flavors that we don't usually see in America. But as for which one is better, like looking at the hot food, the coffee, the Slurpees, like don't hate me for this, but I think the 7-Eleven in America is kind of way better. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Let me know down below. Did the 7-Eleven in America win or the 7-Eleven in Japan? Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you found this video entertaining. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.